everybody. Welcome back to My View on the View, the radio broadcast. I'm your host, of course, MVO TV. Thank you for joining me for a new episode. I wanted to share this information with those of you who may not be on social media or online because you're working, your children, your what have you. Um, A great loss. Um, The show has suffered another loss uh, in that now the last co-creator of the show, uh, Bill Getty, has died. Um, His daughter confirmed that today, actually a few hours ago, to People Magazine in a statement. And um, of course, now a lot of outlets are talking about it. You may even see it on CNN or NBC or one of those, I don't know, one of those uh, shows, uh, programs, because he was a big name in TV. So uh, Bill Getty, his daughter, Allison, confirmed that he passed away at his home in California at the age of 68. She said of a coronary issue. Um, Now, why am I saying that this is a great loss to our show, even though he was not currently an employee. Um, Well, one of the things that we see um, throughout history when it comes to TV history and shows and sitcoms and all these things is that when the creators of these shows pass on, very often their work doesn't last much longer after their passing. You know, now that could be a few years. I don't mean like a day or two. Um, And in the industry, people have a lot of reasons why they feel like that is. Um, I know something I read said that they feel uh, in the industry, a lot of people feel that, well, when the creators, let's just say the creators pass on, but the show or the sitcom or whoever is helmed by someone else, but the creators are still alive, that those people feel some sort of, um, you know, some sort of loyalty uh, to the person and that they must keep their vision and that they don't want to turn it into something it isn't or that they didn't intend. But when those people pass on or that person passes on, then that kind of consciousness is no longer there. And then they kind of do what they've always really wanted to do with whatever it was. And, and then, you know, viewers kind of get a little upset and some walk away and then not too long after that ratings go down and then the show, you know, is kaput. It's kind of like I read too, they said, you can kind of think of it like a a restaurant in a city that was like the favorite restaurant owned by certain people. They ran it a certain way. The menu was a certain way. The dishes were known to be cooked a certain way and then they sell it. Right. And, but then those patrons come in and things are different and people are like, huh, you know, and then kind of slowly that restaurant just doesn't last that much longer or something like that. Well, I don't know if that'll be true for our show, but I definitely think that his passing, because we lost Barbara in December, right? And now Bill, I definitely think his passing will have an indirect impact on the show, not a direct, but an indirect uh, impact on the show. A lot of you know that um, when they pushed Bill Getty into retirement in 2015, that he they brought him out of when I say they I mean Walt Disney the executives that run of course our show as well they brought him out of retirement to helm and be the executive producer for Tamron Hall's talk show when it first got off the ground remember though we talked about it all those years ago he didn't last he didn't even last a year because allegedly there were some conflicts of uh, you know, personality conflicts and leadership style conflicts um, between those two and so he quit, you know, and uh, went back into retirement. And that was just three years ago. So uh, yeah, but um, a lot of you also know, because I've covered it here over the years that Barbara nor Bill uh, were too happy about the direction our show had gone. Um, when they were asked, and when he was asked, because Barbara stopped doing interviews years and years ago before she passed, but when Bill would be asked, he was not that pleased with the way the show was. Um, also, a lot of you know that the New York Times bestseller book by Ramin Satuta, Ladies Who Punch, the explosive inside story of The View, Bill Getty is, is all throughout that book, Ramin's book, because he gave him interviews. He gave him access to things. A lot of people feel like the reason he got the tape, remember the infamous tape of Elizabeth cursing backstage and and threatening to quit. Remember that, um, that audio, that was because Bill Getty was able to get it, you know, and, and, and had that. And so, um, he, I think, was a great part of why Ramin's book was so successful. The only book out there, the only nonfiction book out there about ABC's The View still uh, is because of, of Bill Getty and the interviews he gave him. So, um, yeah, so this is really, really sad. He was just young. 68 is young to me now. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to definitely um, 
not be remiss, and, and, and I wanted to share this story because I've covered Bill uh, and Barbara on this channel for so long. So there you have it. Um, my prayers are with his family, his wife and daughters. Um, I do want to read what The View has on their Instagram. Um, it says here, of course, Bill Getty, 1955 to 2023. It's with great sadness that we share the news of the passing of The View co-creator and one of television's most well-respected producers, Bill Getty. He was a pioneer in television and greatly beloved by The View family, creating the show with Barbara Walters and serving as its executive producer for 17 years. The View wouldn't exist without Bill Getty. Guys, that's the truth. The they statement on the View, uh, View's Instagram goes on to say, He was a big deal in TV, but at home he was an even bigger, bigger than life husband and dad, his family said in a statement. Our love goes out to his wife Barbara and their two daughters, Allison and Lauren. So there you have it, guys. Bill Getty gone at 68. Thank you for tuning in. Um, by the way, I will tell you guys that I have several stories that I've been working on over the last few days, and they're all going to be up on the channel this weekend as I'm getting caught up. So um, if you have your notifications set to all, you may feel a little overwhelmed when you see how many there are. But you know, the show comes on live again on Monday. And so I then I have to do the daily chats. And so <clears throat> I'm trying to get these stories that I've been working on out so that I can be kind of like caught up if that makes any sense. And then I can just focus on, um, you know, the live show and not try to be working on this stuff simultaneously because I'm also on my secondary channel, um, doing a show over there now, reviewing a show over there for my young girls, 18 to 35. So there you have it guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to this special broadcast. Thank you for listening. Listen, We'll see what they do on Monday. Um, I hope that they do a big tribute to Bill because if it were not for Bill, there would not be a view. That's just the way that it is. Um, so, he, you know, but now that they're both gone, um, I don't know. We'll just see how things go and how it indirectly impacts the show. What I think is even more terrible is that he's gone. You know, he left. Uh, during the writer's strike and the, the, the actor's strike. And a lot of you know, I mean, Bill Getty was known for those iconic Barbara Walters 2020 specials and so much more that he did in television. And so um, I'm sure that he was watching this play itself out and had a lot to say about it. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you on the next broadcast. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy hanging out. My view on the view.